Good day everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss measurable set. Now, when is a set measurable? So before that, let me have a brief review about the concept of sets. Now recall that uh, we have this equality. So to illustrate this one, uh, let me have the Venn diagram. We have here the set A, and this one is the set E. Now, A intersection E is this one, shaded region. And then A intersection complement of E. Of course, the complement of E is outside E. Then we intersect it to A. So this is the intersection. Now notice that if we are going to get the union, it will result to set A. Now, if in the case that if we are going to get the Lebesgue outer measure of this, the Lebesgue outer measure of this intersection, and the Lebesgue outer measure of this, if we are going to get the sum, of the un of the intersection of the out Lebesgue outer measure rather the sum is equal to the Lebesgue outer measure of a now if it is in that case we can say that our set e is measurable notice here that a is a subset of the set of real numbers. Okay. So let's define here measurable set. So we have here a set E is a subset, of course, of a real number. It is measurable if for each subset of R we have this equality. So if this holds, then we can say that E is measurable. Or if E is measurable, then this will follow. Now for this remark here, uh, we know that by sub-additivity, this will hold. Okay? So this always holds. That if A is, we have here, if A is equal to the union of this, then always true ang less than or equal. If you're going to get the Lebesgue outer measure by subadditivity. Therefore, if we are to show that E is measurable, so it's enough to show that here, it is greater than or equal. So it is enough to show this one. Or, of, of course, you can show that they are equal, but then it is enough to show that they are, uh, that the outer me Lebesgue outer measure of A is less than or equal to the sum of the Lebesgue outer measure of this. Now we have another remark here, that if E is measurable, then we can say that its complement is also measurable. Now to prove this one, uh, I'll just give you an, uh, an outline on how to prove this. So here's our statement. So here's our statement. So our assumption here is E is measurable. So by our assumption, we have this one. By using our assumption, this is true. Or you can use greater than or equal. So this is true. And then, we need to show that for, e for each rather 
subset of R for any A. So we need to show that the outer measure of A is equal to the outer measure of A intersection. Instead of writing E, we use here E complement because we will show E complement is measurable. So we replace. So we want to show this one. This one. A intersection E complement of the complement. Follow? Because we want to show this. That's why we just replaced. It seems like we are just replacing. So we want to show this one. Now to show this one, uh, we will be using uh, the concept of um, complementation. We will use this concept that E complement of the complement is just equal to and then by commutativity, the result follows. Okay, that's it. Now let's have the next here. MT and R are measurable. So let's show first MT being a measurable set. That is, uh, we will show that the outer measure of A is equal to the, to the peg outer measure of A intersection. What? Instead of E, we have complement. Because the uh, complement, um, empty set. Because this set, uh, we will show that this set is measurable. Then plus the outer measure of a intersection of course the complement of itself we will show this one now to show this one we can work backward so we can have this first and then we will show that the outer measure of a uh, that this is equal to the outer measure of a so let's begin we have this of a intersection now we know that the complement of MT is R. So we can write it. Ah, by the way, and so this is equal to R. And the intersection of A and MT is, of course, MT. So we have here the, out, the back outer measure of this is that one plus the, the back outer measure of what? Notice that this, the complement of MP is R, and then if you're going to get the intersection of A and R, the intersection is, of course, the smaller set. This is A, because we know that A is just a subset of R. Now, in this case, the Lebesgue outer measure of MP is, of course, 0. So we have the outer measure of A, of course. So we have proof this statement. Now to show for R being measurable, we use the same process. So instead of writing empty here, we replace it by R. This is R complement. So we know that the intersection of A to R is A, smaller set, and the complement of R is, now okay, let's have this so R, so we replace this by R, and we replace this by R. So we show, we will show that, we we'll start here, okay, then, Of course, the intersection of this is the smaller set A, and we know that this is equal to MT, and the intersection is MT. So as you can see, the outer measure of A, and then the outer measure of MT is 0, so we have proved the result. Or we can use another, uh, we can prove this one using the, the statement, yung E measurable 
implies its complement measurable. So because we have already shown that mt is measurable, so of course its complement, which is r, is also measurable. So we can also prove that by using this result. So let's have here another result. So if the Lebesgue outer measure of E is zero, then E is measurable. Now to prove this one, let's have this. So we let, of course, in the subset A of R, and then we note that this is true. Why? Because um, intersection is smaller than any set here. So this intersection is a subset of E, and this intersection is a subset of A. That's why we have this statement. This means uh, that the outer measure of this is less than or equal to the outer measure of E. Then for our next, uh, we also know that this is true, that this intersection is a subset of this set. Then this holds, we get the Lebesgue outer measure of each and less than or equal to this, the Lebesgue outer measure of this. Now, by our assumption, the outer measure of E is zero. Now, for this, uh, with this, rather, it follows that we know that the outer measure of any set is greater than or equal to zero. And we know from this result by one that this is less than or equal to the Lebesgue outer measure of E. And by assumption, this is zero. Now notice here, oh, it is, this set is greater than or equal to zero, but less than or equal to zero. Now what do you think will happen? We can say that the Lebesgue outer measure of this set is zero. Therefore, if the Lebesgue outer measure, uh, therefore, uh, we have this statement from 2 here that the, the Lebesgue outer measure of A intersection E complement is of course less than or equal to the Lebesgue outer measure of A. This is the statement. We just added 0 anyway. Uh, this is the same in equality. Then of course, by this, na, this is 0, we added this one here because this is just equal to 0 from this. So, are we done? Are we done showing that E is measurable? We have shown here that the Lebesgue outer measure of A is greater than or equal to the sum of this. So, we have here E, here E complement. So, we're done proving this statement. So, that's all for now. In my next video, I'm going to discuss there some known results on measurability. So, thank you for watching and listening.